Wrath of the Hunter is a powerful build. It can deal a ton of damage to enemies. It may not have the ability to deal damage to multiple enemies except for the Annihilation card, but the Quick Slash and Wrath combo could do it more effectively than any other cards in Midnight Suns. Hello guys, Genuine here of Genuine Gaming. And here is my power build at max difficulty or ultimate 3 difficulty. And I call this build the Wrath of the Hunter. Wrath of the Hunter's central ability is Wrath, wherein it gives all Hunter attack and heroic cards a 100% critical hit when used. And it continues to do so for the next 2 turns, and all Hunter cards are given critical status when they are drawn. It would increase the damage dealt of the Hunter depending on his critical damage stat. You might wonder that I only have one Wrath card in this build, while this build is built around it. It's because it will be very easy for us to hunt for the Wrath card because of the mod we added to the other cards. Another important aspect of this build are the two passives that I'm using for this build. For the suit, we are going to use the Ancestor's Guidance, wherein it does not exhaust our abilities as we are using a good number of them. That is, three to be exact. Exhaust cards are very powerful cards. That is why they are given the exhaust status to give balance to the cards. For those who are new to Midnight Suns, exhaust cards get discarded when they are used. If you do not know how to get the Ancestor's Guidance, you have to complete the main puzzle given in the Abbey Grounds. The next passive we used is the Balance Color. It would allow us to draw 2 Hunter cards every time we play 4 Power cards in combat. This ability is what makes it easy for a Hunter to hunt for Wrath. It would also be easy for us to draw the Balanced Color card since half of our Hunter cards are quick. Another nice thing I like about this build is that this build is never heavy for card plays as 4 cards are quick cards and 1 is a free card. Here are the cards for this build. 2 cards of Quick Slash modded with on KO draw a hero card. I always like to mod my quick cards with drawing a card. The idea of modding my quick cards with drawing a card is that as quick cards refund my card plays, draw cards replenishes cards in my hand. If I would draw another quick card, that would lengthen my card plays all the more. Quick cards is the best resource against minions. We want to draw a hunter card, more specifically a hunter power card, so that we can trigger the balanced color card. We need to play 3 power cards in order to trigger the balanced color card. This is the reason we modded quick slash with on KO, draw a hero card, and not just any other card. 2 cards of heal modded with gear. These cards are optional for the build as I am more defensive in my approach when I play Midnight Suns. You can always play a more damage focused build and equip your Hunter with another Wrath card or another power card to your liking. Inspire modded with Draw the Last Attack card played is also a good card to have in this build. One card of Wrath modded with Draw the Last Attack played. This is a central card for our build. I like to mod my free card with draw the last attack blade as it is as if we are able to draw a card for free. But in order to trigger the early balanced color, we try to make sure that the last attack blade is a quick slash card. Playing a quick slash on a minion and playing wrath modded with draw the last attack blade and playing again the quick slash would immediately trigger the balanced color card without spending a hard play. Two cards of patience modded with quick. This is a very powerful card as it is able to deal 500% damage of Hunter's offense stat. If you buff this card with Wrath, it is going to be an insane damage. Modding this with Quick would save you card play. The Ancestor's Guidance passive ability would remove the exhaust effect of this card that would allow us to use this card more than once in combat. One card of Annihilation. Annihilation for me is the best legendary card for Hunter even if it's not upgraded. In order to upgrade this card, you have to follow the full Dark Path, but it would be difficult for you to reach it by using this build. If you do not have yet a Dark Hunter build, I am sharing my link of my build in the description below. In order to get this card, you have to be at least 100 points in the Dark Path. And you have to reach 200 points in the Dark Path in order to get another copy for this card for the upgrade. You cannot craft this card at the Forge. The Wrath of the Hunter is a powerful build. It can deal a ton of damage to enemies. It may not have the ability to deal damage to multiple enemies except for the Annihilation card 
but the Quick Slash and Wrath Combo could do it more effectively than any other cards in Midnight Suns. The Power of Wrath of the Hunter is going to be enhanced with Nico in your team, as in power would greatly help us use Patience, as it would reduce the heroic cost to zero. It is as if you are using Patience like an attack card without gaining a heroic point, but able to deal 500% damage of your hunter's offense. I hope you liked this build and do not forget to leave a like if this video is helpful. And for more Midnight Suns videos, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!